What's up guys, De Niro Gloves here. Sorry, I haven't been posting lately. I'm kind of sick right now. I've had a lot of things going on with school and uh, baseball getting started up. Um, today, I'm gonna do a video on how to tighten the wrist on your glove here. Um, it's a pretty simple thing to do, but a lot of people get confused when doing it. Once they're rolling on. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is untie it. Untie your uh, knot here. Start pulling those bad boys out. For anyone that hasn't done this before, I recommend really paying attention when you pull these out because if you don't, it could get messed up, honestly. side out there. There we go. Wrist is out. We got our lace out. Okay. Now what I like to do is I have this leather punch here. I'll punch a little hole right here in the end of this leather. What I use for this is I just use a bobby pin right here. You can see, I stick this bobby pin through this little hole that I made. Well, maybe I need to make it bigger. There we go, it should work now. bobby pin here makes it easy for me to be able to go through the holes and pull the lace through Take these, pull your lace through your holes. Well, just broke that bad boy.
करनी है So, sometimes your lace doesn't want to go through there. So, what I recommend through your holes on your glove here. So, what I recommend doing is taking just some scissors or any type of tool you have. cut this into a point where it will go through the holes a whole lot easier. As you can see there, I made it into more of a point. Let's try this again. Might need to get a new bobby pin uh, toward the ends off of this one. Yeah, there we go. A whole lot easier now. So. When tightening it, you want to make sure you get it in the top hole there, as you can see. And you want to make sure these are perfectly aligned when you're, once you get it through there. Pretty close, that's about as good as it's gonna get. So now. Go back. You need to put your hole through both ends of the lace because you're going to have to work with both sides of this, not just one side. This and all.
Now your next step is to pull them over the top and go in this first hole here and it will go down in, as you can see here. After you do that, you're gonna to wanna to go into the next hole on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that. Right here, the second hole. You're gonna go in there. You're gonna to wanna to go from the second to the third hole in the wrist there. Oh, it's covering it up. You're gonna to wanna to go from the second to the third hole in the wrist there. You can go ahead and pull that on through and start tightening this up. After you go to that hole, you can then poke it back out the top and you are finished with that side, poke it on back out the top. Now here's the tough part. You're gonna have to go back on the other side, do that again while the other side is, while this side we just finished is already tightened up. So you don't have a lot of room to work with, but it's not too hard. Poke that one back up the top. There you go. Now you're gonna wanna go back and tighten all these down, obviously. You can usually just pull on your end string. those bobby pins out and look at there their laces are perfect here you tie these bad boys and that there is how you relace the wrist on a baseball glove y'all um Y'all shoot me some comments down below about what y'all want to see. Maybe some gloves y'all want to see. Um, if y'all want to see like some reviews, more how-tos. Um, I got some stuff coming for y'all in the future. I'm currently working on getting someone to film for me. Um, if y'all know anybody that'd be interested in doing that, I mean, obviously you'd have to be somewhere close in Texas here. But yeah, um, y'all shoot me some comments like this share this and till next time guys see ya